Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about Laravel modules. Imagine you are working on a big Laravel project with a team of developers. As the project grows, it becomes harder to maintain and organize the code. This is where Laravel modules comes in handy. With Laravel modules, you can organize your application into modules, each with its own set of controllers, models, views, and routes. This makes it easier to manage the code base and to co collaborate with other developers. In this video, I am going to explore Laravel modules and learn how to use it in our Laravel project. So let's start. Okay guys, to install the Laravel modules, we have to install this package which is called Laravel modules. I will put the link in the description so you can guys can copy it. Uh, to install it, we come to installation section and copy this code and paste it in our terminal. So in here I'm going to paste, press enter and we will wait to for installation to finish. Okay, so the installation is finished. Now we are going to publish uh, files. We are going to copy this and paste it in our terminal. Press enter. And this one is also done. So the last thing we have to do is to run composer dump auto load. So once uh, everything is done, we can create our uh, module. So let's make one test module. We can make a module by typing PHP artisan module make and a module name. For example, I'm going to name it product. Okay, so now our module, product module is done, it's ready, we can use it, you can find it in modules folder which is created but uh, newly created by this package and inside it our module name which is product. So we can see in here we have my our migrations, our controllers and same we have our models. But in this module, the model name, which which is typically named models, it's in here. It's written entities. I don't know why, but it's called entities. And also our routes, routes and views. Everything is separate from our main Laravel project. So imagine one developer is working on our main project and another developer is working on this module so there will be no conflict conflicts so let's uh, start by making some controllers migrations and models let's see how it's it can be done okay guys so let's create a new model uh, in our newly created module uh, to create a new model we have to write php artisan mod uh, module make uh, and what we want to make for I want to make a model and what's the name of model I will write for example product image Im product images and with mode uh, migration and controller and uh, in the last we have to write our module name which is as we can see which is product I will write pro that and hit enter uh, we have an error so it means we have forgot a step let's see the documentation mm. we forgot to add this line of code in our composer.json file so we come to our main composer.json file and in auto load after ps psr4 after app we will paste it now let's run composer dump auto load Okay, 
everything is done now let's rerun our code php artisan module make model products image with and hit enter done okay guys so let's check our new module products to and we can see that it had created our migration our model and also our controller now suppose uh, multiple developers are working in a single project and you want to only run this module migrations so uh, without uh, losing the other data or without touching other parts of the project so how we can run only this module migrations for that we have to write in here php artisan module migrate and uh, the module name which is product so it will run our my uh, only this module migration and we can do here for example mi migrate refresh to only refresh this module migration and now let's uh, check our database so this is my database and this product table comes from the main pro uh, laravel project and this images is come from the product module as you can see if we select this you see nothing is removed from here only product image which is part of product module that one is refreshed so now let's uh, make a view and uh, see how we can access a view from inside our module let's make a new blade file in our module and and let's open resources view and let's create a new view for example testing dot blade dot php in here i will write it one tag it's one tag and here i will write hello world now i want to access this view from which is inside our product module to access this we have to come to our route here we have to write route view and give it a name like for example tests and which view i want to access i want to access product module product here and the name of our module which is testing uh, keep in mind to write here the model name in small letters for uh, as you can see our module name is uh, product with capital p but in here i wrote uh, product with a small p that's it to access this we have to write in our url we have to write our module name which was product slash our route enter and you can see we have had access our newly created view so thank you guys hope you enjoy and like this my video and if you like it please don't forget forget to press the subscribe button and like the video thanks a lot if you have any question please write it down in the comments and i will answer it to you thanks